Ben, thank you. The marchers could also be found in Winston-Salem tonight. Hundreds walked together again today, united as one. WFMY News News Marissa Tancino shows us how organizers say they will continue the fight for justice even after everyone goes home. Organizers tell me they planned today's protest in just 24 hours, but still hundreds of people came by to show their support, even if it was from the front steps of their home as the group walked by. To, to get the sound up there, uh -huh. we could disconnect this guy. And welcome each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to come out here and walk in solidarity with us. We're tired. <laughs> we're tired. We're tired of dying. We're tired of crying. We're tired of repeating the same cycle that our ancestors repeated. We're, we're just fed up. We came in for one goal, our voices to be heard. With every protest. Peaceful. Peaceful. Because Winston-Salem has been an example for the whole world. Justice. Now. The message gets stronger. My people is sick and tired of being sick and tired. They march on as one. Fight doesn't stop when everyone goes home. It's power. Power is in your voice. Silence is fear. No KKK, no racist USA. For Courtney McMillan, the fight to end racial injustice continues every day of her life. Tomorrow, it's going to keep going. Keep going. The movement don't stop. No peace. Speak your truth. Always. Always. No peace. Even though each march has an end. Since some of my professors like to challenge me, let me challenge y'all. Okay. What do we want? Courtney says her story will go on. I live in my skin 24-7, 365. I don't take that off. So once the cameras are closed, my lifestyle is still going to continue.